misugaru latte with whipped cream. Anything else? The olive oil cake? Yeah. Okay, I think that's it then. I just got home and now I am getting ready for the Siza tour. I might kill my ex. I actually know the entire album because she's one of my favorite artists. You guys have no idea. I've been trying to manifest this concert for a long time now. I worked and we're gonna decide what to wear. I picked out the cutest lacy tops from Urban. Thank you so, so much to Urban for thinking of me. Look at how cute this is. I picked this before I found out that Jenny from Blackpink also performed in the Bay. In this top we just have the same eye but it's super cute it's just kind of cold so i don't know if i will wear it for the concert but this is so adorable i'm gonna link it for you guys just because like the price is affordable and it's just so me like the lace and the bows and the rosettes and baby blue is my favorite color duh obviously i picked this we were ballsy now we beefing and we butt naked at the mgm look how cute like okay urban pop off they've been eating down look at the flare sleeves and also i love this ribbon detailing yeah we're gonna get ready and and the concert starts at 8. This looks like literally so perfectly cooked. This is lunch. So basically I eat the sweet and sour sauce with the cucumbers and then this is just soy sauce with like a little bit of sugar and it looks sus but I added garlic powder to it if I wanted to drizzle it on the rice or the chicken. But voila, lunch is served. Yay! Yeah! Yay! Yeah, VIP, VIP! <laughs> I'm so Where's your outfit from? Urban. 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 Oh, cute. Okay, Show me the front. This. Wait, cute. What are you wearing? Urban. Rebo. Urban. <laughs> oh my god. So cute. We're about to munch. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> We're about to eat down. That's why I became early. Okay, look at this. Oh wait, never mind. That's water. Okay, this is the one I was smelling. Oh my gosh, love. Look at the Miffy. Hi, Miffy. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> put body wash and it puts like some essential oils and that's it just want to remind you guys to do some self-care just remember to treat yourself once a week because if you treat yourself well then you won't tolerate anything less but we're in the bath <laughs> if i told you i did this once a week i'd be lying i do this like every three months i totally recommend if you don't have a tub just get yourself some nice body scrubs body wash Speaking of body wash, I am partnering with Native for this video. So I wanted to give a big shout out to them because before they had reached out to me, I was already buying their body wash from CVS and their stuff is so good. I literally have it hung up in my rack. They have all different kinds of scents. This one's one of my favorites. It's eucalyptus and mint. They just use really clean and effective ingredients. So do this as an example. 
why would you not want to put that on your body? There is no phthalates or dyes in it, so when you put it on, it's just like very clean. It smells so good. It's vegan and cruelty free. It just like makes your skin feel like super soft and hydrated. Besides the body wash, they have the deodorant and they have a body spray. So if you just want to like smell fresh all day, not even just after the bath, you can just spray the body spray. This is a triple threat. Literally feels light as air. So like you spray instantly and you smell good. You can also just use like as a fragrance spray post workout it's only made with six ingredients and it sprays super lightly because there's nitrogen inside i wanted to tell you guys about the best seller sale that they're having because you get this the deodorant and the body spray for 24 dollars which is so so good usually i think getting like a quality body wash any of those products cost over 60 dollars you can get a whole best seller set for only 24 dollars through my code isabel sung or the link in my description good morning you guys Today is post Ceza and that was probably the best night of my life. So good. Tears coming to my eyes. I'm so fun though. It feels good to finally know every song when you go somewhere because you cannot trust me. We go to the club, go to a restaurant, go to any event. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna go meet Allison and we're gonna try this new spot. We're gonna go try this restaurant. It's 55 degrees outside. It's like windy and chilly. So I wanted to show that I'm gonna like do a little styling. I'm putting on some jeans right now. But what I wanted to show is that that when it's chilly outside the key is to layer so I'm gonna put on the sweater and I'm just wearing it under this brandy oh 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 what the hell I don't know how but there's a hole in it and I've never even worn it before look the tags are on okay anyway now I look like a bum too late I want to wear the sweater oh but I kind of like how it's only at the top and usually when my hair is a mess I did not wash my hair after SZA because I washed my hair before and I came home tied it up in a bun went to bed so Sometimes if I'm achy about my hair touching like surfaces, if I train though, my hair touches the train. I always wash my hair. But if it's like Ubers and like concert air, I'll just tie it up in a bun so I have like the reassurance that my hair is not grossing out other things in my room. But do my hair in braids. Not really feeling my face. When I'm not feeling my face, put on fake glasses. I just want to say before the whole Mew Mew reading glasses, sexy milf trend, I would wear glasses because I didn't like my face. I feel like I have a sty coming in from wearing makeup. So I'm gonna wear glasses so you can't see this is not very main character of me i'm gonna throw on these tori birch boots i know mimi did the buckle boots like a year ago but i think these are very cute if you want to be very subtle i would not pay 5k for a pair of boots because i know how to handle my finances but these tori birch sent to me it's red light you wore your glasses too <laughs> good morning hey, good morning <laughs> let's go eat let's go eat baby. <laughs> the fat with the meat it kind of took a long time because it wasn't fully frozen so just use scissors which made it really easy and then look at the shallots Ta-da! this was so easy i always burn shallots when i fry them but basically you cover it in oil and then you microwave it for five minutes depending on your wattage and then you do it in one minute intervals and then you have like yummy delicious crispy shallots but now we have to put them on a paper towel and get the oil out of it so all we're gonna do is just put the shallots through the sift shallot oil looks really good i might just reuse it when i cook the pork belly Basically, I found out this hack because I was reading an Instagram post of this food account and then the comments were like, microwave shallots. I see you're addicted to microwave fried shallots or something like that. And then she was like, yeah, now I can't stop making them. And then I just searched it on Google. So I wish this was like more common knowledge that you could just fry shallots in the microwave. They always burn them. I don't know how. It's so worth it. Tastes so much better than store-bought. And look how crispy and delicious the shallots look. I'm gonna fold the oil. Ta-da.
kind of just tasting it as I go and I feel like it tastes a little bit salty. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to make some soft boiled eggs. I'm going to keep cooking this but then add in some shallots and some water. I feel like I personally like it a little bit sweeter, so I'm just gonna add more sugar. That'll make it yummy. Balance out the saltiness. I'm gonna taste this. Mmm. Wow, I kind of was scared at the beginning, but this was really easy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the five spice. I'm gonna add a couple bay leaves just because it said so and I have them. Shows that you don't always need to follow a recipe to make something yummy. I didn't have half the ingredients, but it actually tastes very authentic because I'm just nailing down the flavors and I didn't have mushrooms, so I'd use the mushroom flavored soy sauce. And it's just like to achieve the umami because they wanted me to use mushroom flavored oyster, but then I just use regular oyster. I'm gonna add a little bit of five spice, adds a lot. And then so does white pepper. White pepper, here we go. I'm gonna add the shallots and then save half of it for our toppings. Yum. One hour. I put the eggs in and I, ooh, ooh, put it under the meat. Ooh, there we go. So that it could be covered in sauce. The Finished! Hong Shao Ro with yummy eggies that I soft boiled instead of hard boiled. This is to cat. How is it? So delicious. In this is microwave. like super traditional. This is real Luro fat. If you've never had Luro fat, if you just eat the ones in America, they use minced pork. It's not good. It's not the right one. You have to use pork buddy, belly. <laughs> pork buddy. And chop it up. I use scissors. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs>